So, Simone, mm-hmm. what about non-black people? What do you mean? Who take use their position, right, okay. of influence to stand up for black people? How do how do we feel about that? As long as it's not performative. I feel like you can tell when something's performative. Can you give me some example of that? Um, so like, okay, perfect. It's 2020, all these brands that never had any Black Lives Matter, mm-hmm. nothing, not didn't even have like a heavy with their marketing, didn't even really include black faces. And now all of a sudden it's, oh, Black Lives Matter this, and let's put up this on our social right. media. And it's like, oh good, great that you're doing it now, but you see these makeup brands that even on their commercials in their magazine advertising, there's, mm-hmm. they don't even have black, they're not even showing black women, black men, nothing. Right. Then now all of a sudden you stick up for black oh, people. Oh, 2020, you saw black people who didn't exist before that. Right, exactly. So that's what I mean by when it when it seems, when it's obviously performative, then no, nah, you could have just kept your two Follow cents. up though, follow up though. So I got pushed back. Because I, I love doing that. I want to push mm-hmm. you. I want to challenge you. So if a brand out there is you know, engaging in some performative performance in terms of how they're engaging with black people, right? Mm-hmm. I.e. 2020, you know, there are certain products that like Band-Aids were like, not, you know, not my, my skin, skin tone. Color, it was like yeah. this. But then in 2020, Band-Aids became my skin tone. Skin tone, yep. Does it, it are there benefits to going along with the play, right? Is, is, is Are there benefits to sometimes brands when they do that and make that reversal. No. Like, you know what? It benefits black people. I think as long as they keep that same energy, honestly, I feel like mm-hmm. if 2020 is what, if everything that happened in 2020 is what it finally took for a lot of these big brands and big entertainers or, you know, whoever, non-black speaking, if, if this is what it took for them to finally, you know, open their eyes and, you know, take a stance on something. Yeah. As long as, all right, this is where you're starting and you only go up from here, Mm -hmm. then sure, it's, you know, kudos to you. You know, thank you for being on our team. But if it's, you know, 2023 and now that same talk that you were talking back in 2020 is Mm -hmm. completely out the window and, you know, you're not even showing up for us in any kind of spaces. You know, the products you put out, the messages you put out, if those, if all of that is no longer there, then it proves that this is just like performative, you know? But like I said, if this is, if they keep the same right, energy right. and, you know, same they energy. continue to do the work and they mm-hmm. continue to bridge a gap that is clearly there, then I can't really speak bad about that because, yeah. you know, you're doing, because you're doing the work. It's not about you just okay. trying to appease and, you know, make people happy. No, you're actually doing the work now and you're going to continue it. Right. You know what right. it's like? It's like hot <laughs> pocket activism. As in like, it's microwavable. You dig what I'm saying? There's no real depth. You're not really digging in. You don't. How about this? Corporations hire some black people. A friend of mine actually created what's called a black dollar index where and that is a system where they hold companies accountable for their black management, their upper management. So it's and then how many people they have employed there. Like it's a a total breakdown of everything. And it actually has green like a ton of like she's been on CNBC, MSNBC everywhere. Cause it was something that like kind of stood out to her because of the performative work that a lot of these corporations were doing. And she's like, okay, well look, you guys are posting squares and doing all of this Black Lives Matter stuff. How many black people are you employing? How many black people are making decisions? Obviously also our culture is the currency. Come on. Everybody wants to kind of like figure out a way where they can cater to us in some sort of way, but it's fake. Come on. It's just like, come on. Like, and you were talking about performative people from like a celebrity standpoint. Yep. Justin Timberlake, he put up a post and turned the comments off. That's corny because he didn't want to get bombed for oh, all of a sudden. Because he, he's somebody that has completely eaten off the backs of black culture. Mm-hmm. And then he goes and does his country album. It flops. And he come back now. He pop lock it again. So it's like, come on, like, which, what side of the fence are you playing on? 